Hey friends, on today's quick video, we are in Numbers. This is going to be native software for Apple. And this is their version of Excel, basically. And what we're gonna to do today within Numbers is we're gonna change the background of our spreadsheet here. Now, I'm actually creating a small dashboard. And what I want is for my entire table background to be black. Right now, it's defaulted to white. What I've done is removed the grid lines. And so we have a nice, clean background to work with. Now, to do this, you need to make sure you have your Format tab clicked. If you don't have anything over here, just again, make sure you click on this little paintbrush icon, your format options will open up. And then we're gonna make sure we are on the cell option. I'm gonna click on this and we're gonna scroll down and as you can see, we have some fill options right here. Now, what we can do is click on this. As you can see, we have a color fill. We can have a gradient fill, which is pretty cool. We can also do an image fill, all sorts of different interesting options. Now, for this, what I'm gonna do, just to make it simple, is use this down arrow. And right now, with this little red line moving through, it means we don't have any kind of fill. It's simply defaulting to the white. And I'd like to make it black, so I'm gonna click this down here. And as you can see, that is gonna add that background to that specific cell. Now, if we want to do an entire background, let's make this whole thing black, what we need to do is have everything selected. I'm just gonna come up here, and as you can see, it'll automatically know that I am now selecting the entire table. And since we have multiple fill types, meaning the black and the white, that's why it's feeding us this information. What I can do is come up here now, again, select that black, and then the entire table will be filled. Again, if you wanna do that entire table, remember to click this little button up here, indicating you want everything selected. But what about the background here? Well, what I can do is actually click on that background and it immediately brings up some formatting options for us. So as you can see, we've got the background color currently set to white. And what I'd like to do is just click that little down arrow. Again, you can click multiple color options by clicking in the wheel and typing in codes and those kind of things. Again, what we wanna do is click on the little down arrow, look for our defaults. I'm gonna select black. And as you can see, we now have everything in black. Again, once I click on the table, we can then work within the table. Now, if you want to remove the table outline here, what we can also do is come back over to table. We can come back here to outline. As you can see, it does have an outline here. I can use the down arrow and I can click on none. Once I do that, everything disappears. Again, you can continue to work within your cell. All the guidelines will pop up. And if you're on the background, everything will go into that black mode. Hope that helps friends. If it has, hit that thumbs up button. We definitely try to make these short little tutorial videos to make your life just a little bit easier. Subscribe and we will see you again on the next one.